way there. I'm up. Well. Barry Ponroy is the third most haunted castle in the UK. There are two female ghosts who said to haunt the castle. One is the white lady and the other is the blue lady as well as two brothers who leap to their depths. The blue lady is said to beckon for help from passers-by, lure them to the tower. If they go to her, it is said they fall to their death. She is thought to have been the daughter of a Norman lord and is said to have wandered the dungeons, mourning the loss of her baby, which she murdered as it was served by her father. The White Lady is said to be the spirit of Margaret Ponoroy, who is to claim to haunt the dungeons and have been imprisoned by her sister Eleanor, who is very jealous of her beauty. It also reputed to be haunted by the ghost of two brothers, who are dressed in full armour and said to rode the horses up to the top of the castle ramparts and together leap to their deaths. Many visitors have claimed that they heard screams and noises at night around the castle. And um, I'm here today at uh, Berry Ponore uh, Castle. It's not far from where I live, but I never ever, I mean, I mean I've been here before, but I've never actually been in, inside this, so it's the first time. So I'm going to take you around and I'll show you around Berry Ponore Castle. And it's quite, you know, it's a, the ruins of it, so. I'll show you up there. That's what it is. And they say it's the most haunted castle, uh, the third most haunted castle, apparently. So, um, you know, I've got two ghosts or something, but I'll show you. So, this is where I'm going, as you can see. Right. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no digging, no fires, and no barbecues in here. So, I mean, as if you're going to have a barbecue, maybe that's what's happened to the building, probably. Uh. Uh. I'll show you 
Right. Right, I'll have a take you up these stairs. That's weird. No climbing. <laughs> ah, let's have a go in here. Oh, please wear face masks. I don't think. Let's have a look. <laughs> My God, look. What lovely. Wow. Oh, look at this. It's beautiful. Out with the old, in with the new. Apparently, uh, there says quite a few families own, used to own this. Um, oh, oh God, uh, was the uh, Ponoroi, Ponoroi, or Ponerise that owns it, uh, the Seymours, the one that's uh, related to King Henry VIII, because one of it, because the Seymours, the wife, Jane Seymour, married Henry VIII, and um, yeah, quite a few. Oh, that must be the fireplace. Yeah, so it must be the chimney. Can you see it? It's quite dark up there. Must be the fireplace. Then you've got steps. Then you've got steps there and steps there. And this is the, uh, this is what the castle, castle looked like. So I think it changed over the years because of the, you know, whoever who owns it and uh, the Ponoroys have made it changed and, and all this. I'll show you. Should take you down. Very creepy. <laughs> Look at this. Well, but apparently, um, the history of the haunted um, there used to be like two ghosts, two women. One was a blue ghost. Was a white ghost. Now the blue ghost, she will call you, call, call out, apparently, and uh, the tower. You go up to the tower of things, and uh, when you hear her, I think she alerts you to your death. That you fall asleep or something. But you have to read up about it. Oh, I'll put me out. <laughs> it's alright. <laughs> I'll put my mask up. I've got steps down here. Yeah. Right. And then you've got the the white ghost. The steps go up here. I don't know whether you can oh no, it's padlock. I wonder if that was the toilet bit, where they used to go to the toilet. <laughs> well, I'm coming out of that. <laughs> Somebody thought I was a, um, 
that was quite funny somebody thought I was a ghost de uh, detector <laughs> um, checking on the ghosts <laughs> I used to um, oh look at that I used to be a member of the ghost club I used to go there for I just used to go there and uh, guys club these stuff in my local pub in Chester so, and you meet all sorts of people uh, it's quite interesting because we used to go to different places it's haunted you used to go to people's houses um, used to say the house was haunted and uh, <laughs> things so um, yeah so this is very Oh wow, it's another fire, it must have been a fireplace with the chimney. Wow, I love all this. This is called St. Margaret's Tower. And this was uh, in the late 15th century. Ah, oh. so I'll show you that. I can only see the big writing because I haven't got my glasses. I'm not very good because it's quite blurry. So my eyesight's not very good. Uh, yeah, so. Can see that but I will tell you but uh, I'm gonna look out wow got some these nooks and crannies I don't know whether I've been down here have I oh, I'll have a look down going down to these steep steps Pizza oven in there. Yeah, it must be some. So I wonder, guess what this could be. To the like the fireplace yeah and you look at that uh, at that uh look how high that is wow i don't know what that maybe it's something i don't know what that, that bit's for in the fireplace maybe to cook to do some cooking or something Oh, uh, yeah, let's see. There's something on here, what's it say? But, yeah. but you can see how beautiful it is. Look, the cup there, look, it is so nice. And, So they must be quite small people like me look see how see how this is for so they must have been in those days they must have been my height because yeah this must have been the doorway so yeah you can see how small people were in them days I think most of the time because they were small in them days is because it's the food um, the food that they eat 
and uh, and that's probably why they're so small but nowadays you get so many people who are taller so it's the the diet so it must have been the diet of their food because it's quite quite small but this one's the pantry see so this room was originally can't see it uh, uh, dry. oh we used to store dry food wine and ale <laughs> that's my type of that's my type of room <laughs> Um, yeah, look at this. It's like a maze. Wow. Yeah. I think I. Yeah, I might have been. No. Oh, wow, well, look at this. I think I'll go this way. Ah, this is, this must be, oh, this is the um, Elizabeth Great Hall. So this must have been her Great Hall. There, Elizabeth. You can just imagine, imagine that. I've put a picture of Elizabeth's Great Hall. And, um, <laughs> God, <laughs> get lost in here. <laughs> in those days, they like uh, things big, don't they? <laughs> wow. The great chamber. Ah, oh, that's probably what it used to look like. This. That's, imagine that so. And so that bit there must have been that over there. Or this so you had the fireplace. Yeah, the fireplace. Um and you had the window. So yeah. So yeah, let's let's just picture it what it's gonna be like. So that bit, so that must have been wooden bit there, where they had it, and then, and the fireplace. So that's what it must have been like, and the, and the window must have been over there. So that must have been the window, and these must have been, yeah, that must have been the window there. So you've got this bit of archway, of where that wooden bit was. Uh, I wonder if you can go on here. Uh, and you've got the, this must have been the big fireplace. So you can see that, the fireplace. Um, so, I think they said there was a window there. And, so you've got the, uh, Oh, Ed, Ed, Ed Seymour, he was the uh, relative of Jane Seymour. Oh, you've got a lovely view, look. Oh, you've got, uh, <coughs> got the view here as well. Right. Right. Another fireplace. Well, that's up there. I think I might go. <laughs> it's quite a maze. <laughs> Quite amazed, amazed at this place. That's a nice window. Look at that. This don't make that no more, do they? Stone window. Now 
I haven't got any arrows to point where to go. So I'm just, I don't know whether I've been down here. I don't think I have. But, um, I'm going some more steps. <laughs> Show you down here. It's a bit creepy. <laughs> I don't think I'd like to come here at night. I think I did ages ago. That was not inside. Um, that was just outside. Uh, but they say a lot of people come here like Halloween and that to scare each other. Hmm. Scary. I'll <laughs> just see you in a minute. Right, I'll come over come over here. So <laughs> I don't know whether you're allowed to walk on the grass, but <laughs> I don't want to be grassed up or anything, but yeah. I don't know what these are for. These. Maybe they're chicken. Chicken play. Uh, Pen things. Uh, yeah, I might tell you what it is. But it's very packed today. Oh, they're like protection. They protect the, uh, the stone bits. So, might be brave thing. Are oh, these, they protect them. That's the wall. Probably the um, thing. Uh, probably the structure. But, but yeah come over this way it's like a maze it's just you know like all these little nooks and crannies they're quite big I bet it was really nice and you know what's I'm putting it wrong <laughs> I gotta get used to this um you know like the camera I keep thinking I'm facing the other way but I'm facing me so yeah I'll have a this is what it's actually right, so that must be oh pipes yeah pipes in them days because you used to see the and all the lovely dresses so they, they they're like the elizabeth dresses aren't they you know they're elizabeth times and that's what it because they they changed it over the years haven't they so they built but i tell you what it must have been really it's a pity though it's all gone like decayed and you know i think another hundred years or 200 years would this still be would this still be here unless you know we look after it but I don't think uh, the modern buildings will be here <laughs> uh, that's probably why they the, the modern buildings they probably um, just uh, just build them and then they just knock them down again but yeah got all that <sighs> I think I've been in here that's the, oh that's the kitchen service there. Oh. <laughs> that's how I'm going the right way a large tall kitchen to separate our oh, bakehouse where food was collected by the servants hatch oh so that must have been the kitchen something here yeah. yeah. I think I've been this must have been the kitchen You can imagine what this would be like, you know, the, the fireplace is going up. So, oh, oh, that's quite soft there. <laughs> it's very soft ground. Maybe it's, uh, people got buried or something. Oops, very soft. Look at that, look at that. Wow. This is ground's really soft. It's sort of like sinking into it.
watching them gallying with their horses, riding up on their horses. Who goes there? So I mean, I got another bit here. This is like a sort of an oven for um, the end days. It must have been because it's yeah where they cook where they cook stuff and thing stuff and you know. But I mean this place is really really it's a good day out because it's um we've got so many things to see. I know very good. getting lost <laughs> I love all this I really this is in my element this, these sort of old oh, this, I mean I must say these old buildings history I just love it I mean you get the good you get I mean history has been history is quite it's good to learn but it's quite bad in them days imagine living in them days I probably wouldn't live you know they might think I'm a you know, a witch or something. You know, like if you, because imagine them days that somebody that does herbs and you know and uh, medicine stuff and the, the, you know and the herbs and the flower thing probably think you're a witch. You know, anything like that, they probably would, wouldn't they? You know, or you did a bit of magic or something. They probably think, oh, no, she's a witch. Or, He's a witch. Or, burn them. And, you know, that must have been hot in those days. Kill you for anything, don't they? You know, off with your heads. And that's a, looks like a tower. Up there. I wonder if you can get in there. I'll have to ask. So I will go there. and crannies. Oh you can't go up there, pity. <laughs> oh. wow. Got the windows there. Yeah. That's beautiful. on the door shall I? <laughs> Hello, is anybody in? It's Avon. <laughs> oh, forget that. <laughs> Avon's calling. Oh. oh yeah. And look at all those <laughs> look at all those windows. I mean I'm hang on a minute, I've got it round the wrong way. Look at all those windows. <laughs> I says look at look at all those windows, look. Imagine in those days and you're a I wouldn't like to be a window cleaner in them days would you? You know climbing and climbing up and cleaning the windows, you know. What if I did have window cleaners in them days? Yeah. I wonder if I did. I'll have to look at that. I'll have to look up about that. If I had window cleaners in them days. But I shall see you later and uh so bye for now and I'll see you later. I think. Right. <sighs> Got some posh posh lot over there. That having an having a what's it wine and cheese. Yeah, look the posh lot. 
<laughs> you see him? Yeah. <laughs> Can I have a drink? <laughs> right, um, I think I've got to put me, um, my mask on. <laughs> oh, it's a daisy. Hello. Find your way around the castle. Yeah. Right? What's all that out there? So it's a posh lot. Are they having their wine and cheese? Sorry. The please. posh lot out there. Are they having a. Um, <laughs> they. Um, this is a private hunting estate. Ah. Oh. It was the Pomeroy's private hunting yeah. estate when they built their castle. Ah. Oh. It is still. A private hunting estate, oh, okay. owned by the Seymour family. Ah, oh, the Seymour. One of the local farmers pays a license to the Seymour and, yeah. and runs regular hunts. They oh. breed pheasants specifically to be shot. Oh. Um, and so these people pay to come and spend a day shooting. Yeah. Okay? Oh, I got, I, yeah, I got That's you Oh, as <laughs> long as I don't shoot me. <laughs> no, no. I better they be get, nice to them. They get told off if any pellets come anywhere I, near us. I better be nice to them. <laughs> They're alright. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, they were Hello. <laughs> and is that wine and cheese? Pardon? Are you having wine and cheese? Yeah. <laughs> Hi. No. That's not bad. What's the... That's the cap. So, if you come here for the day... I'll take this off. If, if you come here for the day, uh, you've got the little cafe. That's quite reasonable prices in there. And then um, you've got the... Uh, the nice man the the you got the shop with the nice man in it he's really nice and um so it's a good day and you've got the toilets over there so if you want to go to toilets you've got little ones or you know if you've got anybody that can't walk very far no. but yeah i shall see you later and um yeah hello bye. i just want to say um i want to say a big thank you to nico hikes a lot and uh, she's got a really good channel and uh, she sent me a lovely card and and some beautiful stickers here oops <laughs> there uh, i want to say a big thank you and if you have if you don't know her channel she's really good uh, she does uh, wild camping she hikes and uh, not only the wild camping but there's bears and things where she where she wild camps i, I think yeah she's brave so Thank you very much, Nick.